Good morning, everyone. Today, I am pleased to provide you with some exciting updates around the work of the Department of Planning and the Ministry of Home Affairs. And we will continue to do this so that the public knows exactly what we will be doing to ensure we continue as a government to foster a fairer and better Bermuda. I am joined by the Director of Planning, Ms. Victoria Pereira. The first update is aimed at reducing the process times for certain types of applications allowing for the Development Applications Board, known as the DAB, to delegate its power to grant or refuse planning permission for certain applications to the Director of Planning. This week, in fact, within the last 24 hours, the Development and Planning Delegation Notice 2020 was signed by myself and the new DAB chair and sets out specifically which types of applications are to be determined by the board and which may be determined by the director moving forward. The latter are essentially applications that are straightforward and compliant with the current development plans for the island. It is anticipated that this change, known as the scheme of delegation, will greatly reduce the times by allowing internal approvals for those fully compliant applications and those only requiring minimal discretion. The goal is to streamline processes so that these applications no longer have to go through the board and be delayed because the board only meets two weeks out of the month. I'm sorry, twice a month. <clears throat> However, the types of applications that will still be sent to the board to approve or refuse will be, and these are the specific types of applications that will still go to the board, applications which have registered objections, applications which include an environmental impact statement, applications which, in the opinion of the director, are of national interest, applications where the recommendation of the department would be in conflict with the recommendation received from other government departments or government, non-government bodies. Applications for development which do not achieve a prescribed minimum setback to a lot line and do not include acknowledgments from the affected neighbors. And subdivision applications for the creation of undersized lots. In addition to this list, the director may refer any other application which, for any reason, the director considers should be determined by the board. Similarly, the board may decide certain applications may be better determined by the director. It should be noted that the board will still have the right of any and all applications they wish to review, and the chairman will be advised as to which applications have been approved under this new scheme of delegation. The board may review and decide any application which would normally be determined by the director. You will be reminded that in May of last year, I made a statement in the House of Assembly entitled Streamlining the Planning Process. It was in this statement that I outlined a series of measures to be introduced which would support the construction and development industry over the upcoming year. One of these was this scheme of delegation which we have highlighted today. Another thing I mentioned in my statement last year was the Draft Bermuda Plan 2018. Since December of 2018, the Draft Bermuda Plan has been in operation and the new development plan for the island, with the exception of the city of Hamilton. I am happy to report that there are now in the final stages of finalizing the plan 
as part of the plan's public consultation component, the Department of Planning invited the public to review and submit objections and comments on the plan. Members of the public were then invited to submit counter objections to any objection. And any objection that are unresolved will be referred to a tribunal to hear the details of the particular issue. I can now inform the public that the tribunal has been advertised and will shortly commence their work. And I am also happy today to introduce members of that tribunal to everyone today. The chairman is Mr. John Payne, Mr. Carlos Amaral, and Jennifer Hallworth, former civil servant. Carlos Amaral is a, one of the um, major farmers and agricultural managers of the island, running Amaral Farms. And Jennifer Harworth is an attorney and barrister at law. There are also three alternate members who will fill in as needed. They are Quinnell Francis, Vanessa Turner, and Jonathan Starling. The tribunal is an independent and unbiased group whose role is to hear all arguments and make a recommendation to the minister as to how things should proceed once they've made their decisions. Following the final decision by the minister on all objections, the plan will proceed to the House of Assembly for approval in order for the plan to adopt and be adopted as final. It is important to have the Bermuda Plan finalized and implemented in order for landowners to proceed in making plans that they wish for development. I know that individuals may have put certain applications on hold, waiting for the new plan to come into effect to see if there are any changes in any particular zonings that, that may be of their interest. It is expected that the tribunal will conclude their work this summer. In closing, I wish to thank the director and her team at the Department of Planning for the continued diligence and commitment to the people of Bermuda and also being very supportive of the implementation of the scheme of delegation as well. When I discussed it with the planning team, they were favorable to it. They said actually it was something they were for some time hoping that they could implement because they knew that it would complement the work that they do at the Department of Planning. The government recognizes the crucial role that this department plays in facilitating new investment in the island and as such is desirous to improve those procedures that will result in more efficient decision making and generally releasing the burdens that many people find when they engage in the process. You will be hearing more about other progressive changes that we have in mind for the Department of Planning shortly, and we do believe that these will be favorable to the people of Bermuda, and particularly those interested in development. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone, Minister. Um, the first update y you made today, you said that uh, essentially th the hope was that it would reduce uh, the process times of, of certain applications. You said that those were applications that were straightforward and compliant. I'm wondering if you can just be a little bit more specific on the types of, of processes that you think will be expedited, I guess, by this by this change. I will allow the the, 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 the director to answer that question <coughs> for you because the specifics and technical side sure. of those types that. the like, director is certainly more familiar with. Good morning. Good morning. Um, to be specific, uh, currently as it stands before we implemented this new scheme, applications would have to wait for the Development Applications Board to sit and deliberate over these applications. So applications were very much um, on hold until such meetings were held. Um, the meetings only occur, as the Minister mentioned, every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, and they're specifically on one day a week. So oftentimes it would result in unnecessary further delay for something very straightforward. Such, such as? Such as applications for minor additions to the house, um, even new house developments mm -hmm. that are completely compliant with every single policy in the development plan. 
is, when people think of, I think sometimes it may be streamlining or, or you know, um, reducing process times, um, what would you say to the person that might be worried that, that in, in speeding up this process something will be overlooked? I know the minister outlined the, the type of um, applications that would still uh, go to the board, I guess, as, as, as regular. Is there any worry that, that stuff will be fast-tracked, perhaps? No, I appreciate there, there may be that concern, um, but to be clear, this does not affect the advertisement process okay. where any interested person can make an objection or any form of representation for the application. Um, the application would be assessed by the technical officer and also that report and assessment would be further checked by senior managers and ultimately signed off um, by myself as the director. Okay. Um, Minister, if I could ask you about something else. Um, is it about planning? It is about planning. Okay. <laughs> a specific Anything else is always loaded, I find. <laughs> Fair so that's enough. why I'm asking it's why. It's a planning specific thing. Okay. Uh, I was hoping you could provide an update on uh, the um, application for the Judkin Lane um, uh, property. Um, I know back in November, a, a ministry spokesperson had said that an independent inspector um, had been recruited. Uh, to uh, look at the application as well as the appeal. I'm wondering if you could provide a bit of an update on where that issue stands. What I will say is that, that the appeal process that has completed and you to get the full complete um, decision, it would not be appropriate for me to try and on my mind recite for you the full conclusions of that process. Sure. I would suggest you, as any member of the public can do, go to the planning department and get the full um, written decision okay so that the is appeal a, that is available publicly then now every okay. planning file just so you know and I'll state it for the public consumption is available for public viewing yep um, and anyone can go to the planning department and view those files uh, once it has been formally advertised that a planning um, application has been made anyone can go and view the file in full at the department mm -hmm.